all the driftwood cats. Oh, just to get them out. Oh, one eye tarpon. <laughs> and then you can text this number right here, 561-430-7944, which Ohio's offer. And Sunday night, we're gonna reach out to the winner and say, hey, you won, here you go, we'll ship it on Monday. Oh, hey. Well, so that didn't happen, but all this happened. We definitely don't accept live fish. Guys, this is crazy. Holy sh Can we go to chair for this? I don't think not. we can. But guys, I feel really bad that the ones that did tags and, and took their time. Are you okay, Vijay? I'm fine. Vijay's relaxed on the beach. We're on the beach right now. I feel really bad for all you guys that did put a bid on and you know, we're expecting for Sunday. We, we were so busy. We had a crazy weekend, but I will personally FaceTime each one of you and we're gonna film it and we're gonna make a whole YouTube video on this auction, all right? So if the auction is still on, if you wanna put a bid, even if you see new fish on this video, we're still doing it, but we're gonna do a little bit different. We're gonna do a kick so I can communicate with you guys directly, all right? Enjoy this video. You have no clue what we just went through. You wanna say what you went through? No, 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 you say it on the next video. Love you guys, see you soon. But the reason why we took this done, I mean, this down, is because we set this up real fast at the beginning when it was super cold and we didn't do a water change system. So after doing this one, we had more time and FHI worked very slow to get this whole thing done. So basically, this whole system is done to the point where we open this valve, water drain, and now we have to put the water coming in. But this is all done. Here, we didn't have that. So we took it down, we lift it up higher to be the same matching height, and now we have to drill a hole, do the plumbing. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's gonna make Eddie's life. Eddie's the guy that cleans all the fish tanks. You see this guy, bro? He's talking too much already. Now he says he's gonna clean my mustache. It's gonna be like a lot easier. Just open a valve down here, and you drain all the way down. The other way it was before, we used to have five, six inches of water left, so you're not really draining all the way down. Do it again. So once this is done, these two systems, we got drum filters coming in. It's gonna be really nice. A lot of water flow, water volume. We're trying to figure out, we might have to build a couple of acrylic tanks down below so all the water drains in it, pushes over to the drum. It's gonna be a really nice filtration. After that, I think these fish are gonna do amazing. I mean, the, these work very well, the little movable media, but we wanna have a huge chamber outside of the tank so we're not taking uh, real estate in the tank. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sounds good, huh? All right, enough talk. I talked too much today. Let's go ahead and uh, start over here. Big guy, you still here? Yeah. Let's see. He loves this place. She got a advantage out that. Look at this guy. His head was even a little bit bigger yesterday. So he goes up and down depending on stress, but this is a really pretty fun one. Beautiful colors, beautiful markings. She took advantage of it and took him home. So he's gone. We got to ship him home uh, Wednesday. We still have these other guys and we got to keep them separate but we always leave one out so he can start growing this is a tiny little four inch guy and his head is already growing he's got red yellow really pretty fish there's a bunch of them they're all on the website but look at this one this one his head is already pretty developed like fejai so they're very smart fish yeah this, this i think this is my favorite one that one wait that one no either this, this one, one or this one you can't tell they're, they're almost like twins right no, you don't want this one. Why? Why you pick this one? It's so so the, white though. The beautiful. markings, the big, the the blue markings are more broad, but that the other one is more refined, like yeah. finer. Oh, Anyways, you know what? Let's go show them something. It's not on the website. The color on this guy is so unique. He's like a powder blue, and his head's starting to come back. It's just really unique color. It's almost like like a blue tie silk, right? Well, the the yeah, it's kind of the tie silk is darker. If you guys are into discus, you ever see a blue diamond discus? Yeah. That's what it looks like, but in a flower horn body. Is it on the website or no? No. So how are they going to order? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We're back to this tank. Here we have a couple of the rope fish, but look at the size of this one. Let's just call him Rod. That's a huge rope fish. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, Aeropimus. We got a couple little babies left. and They just ate, so their belly's a little full. We got this fish yesterday. I have no idea what they are. Kevin was looking at the invoice. They're actually really pretty. They came from Africa. Awesome little guys. This has a yellow belly, and I think the other ones has a red, a red belly. So once they're they're in a tank with driftwood background and you know plants, they might colors are even 
pop out even more. Up top, we got some of those butterflies. They actually remind me of an arowana. Their mouth is like the same shape. Yeah. You know, they look like leaves because maybe it's like a defense mechanism. You know what I mean? Like, so predators don't try to attack them. They're not really moving, they just sit there. You know, once they see prey, they'll go for it. But other than that, they just sit on top of the tank. I think they're neat fish and they're also for smaller tanks because they don't grow. They don't, they're not, they don't get big. So down here, we got a couple of fajacas, good size. And these, I think it comes from, um, I forgot what he said, but these have the red line. Some of them have more of a green and yellow line. These guys have the red line. So we have some bigger ones around six inches and we got some baby ones on the bottom. These are Panema. These have been here for a while. They're all quarantined. You can see some of them eat a lot more than others. Some of these guys have huge bellies. But this is the last, I think we had like 200 of them. This is the last of this batch. If we get them again, they're probably gonna be a lot smaller. So if you guys want something around five, six inches, these are ready to go. Down here, we have the same that look like the other fish, but I, these guys are supposed to have uh, the pink belly. So maybe the pink belly will show more. In here, we have African arowanas. They're about, let's say eight to 10 inches, more or less. And these were eating our blood ones non-stop. As soon as the blood one hit the water, they just go for it. The glass hump had cichlids. It's so weird because these fish are actually transparent. You can see through them. And here there's a variety, a mixer. I mean, I, I wanted this guy to go as well. This is a L7 point L25. So I will say I'll do the same thing, highest offer. Just send a text to that number and we'll work something out. The albino arrow barbs, they've also been here for a little bit, so we want to get them out to make tank space. We got some silver cichlids. These are actually not bad. They're good, they're good size, they're beautiful fish when they get big. Um, some dischotos. These dudes are a little more aggressive, but they've been fine with all the group of fish. Here is something pretty cool. I have to call a giant and ask what the name is. But these came from Africa. It's almost like a trout. Let me call him. He's gonna be like, what? What? I just left. We're doing everything here is live. Hello? Hey. Yeah. Do you miss me yet? <laughs> no. Well, Question. Okay. Those uh, fish that come with, from Africa with the spots, what are they? With the spots. That looks like a tiger fish, but they're not. Oh, oh, it's called uh, Rhinus senegalis. Rhinus senegalis? Rhymus, R R oh, I M A S. Okay. R A I M A S. Rhymus. Rhymus Senegalis. Are they on the website? If they're watching this video and they want to buy it, are they good to go? I'll do it tonight. Mm, you better. Snowballs. We got a group of them. Look at that guy. Super dark. Beautiful fish. We got a couple L600 left. They're about two and a half inches. The L L600 is this little guy's right here. It looks like a, a leopard. And I have. These, I want these to go to a good home. This is a uh, clown angel. He's been here for a while. Look how big he is. We have that one and this one. They're both the same. We have Alton back there and some Bulgarian greens. I want all to go to the same person. So if you guys, let's do that thing. Send us the highest offer on this group. Take it. This is pretty cool. I think this is exciting. You can have a fish that you're looking for at a, hopefully at a better price than you have if you're buying online. Down here is the leopard frogs. We have a school of them. They are already on the website. I remember seeing them on the website. All right, let's go to the next roll. Here is those uh, Geophagus pindari and the black boss cichlid. Uh, they might have a different name. They have a different name, guys. Sorry, I, I, I'm not professional at this. I know monster fish, okay? I don't know pretty fish. And then down here is the Delhelsies. We got a couple of Delhelsies left. In this tank, you have the lemon Oscars and the albino Oscars. They're, they're all like four to five inches already. Really pretty, but there was one in particular because I actually had to move this fish that was super white. And I think it might be that guy right there. Look how white he is compared to the other ones. Uh, now it's a day <laughs> storm. Me, 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 look at me. We got a group of four of the red tail hyphen sharks, okay? Now these guys only have one eyeball. So if you want to take them, we can work on that thing because we're not going to sell them for full price. These guys are expensive. We didn't know they were going to come in with four of them came in with no eyeballs, but all the other ones are gone, so there's no more for the season. So if you guys want, we have four left and we can work something out. These are the black ear panguses, which is the same family as the Peru sharks. Just got them in there. 
We got some of those V puffers. They come from Thailand, it's super aggressive. But there, everybody wants to be on camera today. <laughs> Here we have a group of Irwinis. These are perfect tank cleaners. Like they'll clean the bottom of the tank just with the giraffe nose as well. The giraffe nose would move more, so if you're looking for more action on the bottom, I would go for the giraffe nose. The Irwinis, they kind of just sit there. And then up here, we have the patatas, the tiger fish. We got a couple of them that came in, nice size. And uh, they're awesome fish. I, uh, if I could have a whole tank, that would be something pretty cool to put in there. A giant Goliath of patatas, that would be, I would still get in a tank, just, just to say I did it, you know? Here we have a group of goldfish, same thing. Send us the offer, we'll ship it to you. This, that one is white and red, orange, 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 orange. So that one's the only one that has white. These are the red, uh, red phoenix bars. If you look it up, red phoenix bars, maybe if we'll remember, we'll put a picture right here on the screen. They actually look really pretty when they get big. So we have a whole school of them. You can get something really cool at a much cheaper price because it's smaller. We have one left, one of the platinum coins. I know whoever takes them home is gonna love it because they're, they got a big personality, very wide, so you can see in your pond. These guys should get to decent size as well. In this tank, we have a mixture of fish. We have red terrors, or the little guys. We have albino heckleis, which is also little guys. Silver cichlids, and a couple of the golden uh, severum. So it's a whole mixture of fish in there. All little guys. We have two of the eels, the tiger eels, and a couple of the albino clowns. Now albino clowns are that size, they look very thin because there are thin fish. But you can see them all in the, in the little cave. So you have to feed them at least twice a day for them to put some size in because otherwise they're just gonna look skinny. Here we have that group of, um, I'm surprised this is still here. These guys are pretty cool and they're a great size already. These are a rip saw with the tiger shovel nose. So it's not something you see every day. They're man-made fish, but really cool. Um, I definitely wanna keep one. I just, I wanna keep a lot, but I don't have tank space right now. We actually just put the deposit in for more power, guys. We're getting more power, hey, power. So we can set up more tanks, because as we're running right now, we can. So hopefully within a month, we'll have our power in. And then those uh, Zingu One Pike. See, look, they just look at the belly on that sucker. Oh, there's two Vailantes left. If you like the Piraibas and you're not trying to spend a lot of money, Vailantes are pretty much the same thing, same family, but a lot cheaper than a real Piraiba. Down here we got Flagtails, about three inches. And then we have Imperial Loaches. I like Imperial Loaches, especially when they're color up because they have a very bright green and black. Very pretty fish. This upside down synodonas are super cool because a lot of times they're chrome and they change color from like chrome to dark, back to chrome, depending on their mood and, and how they feel, I guess. Look, look at how chrome that one is right now in the back. See it? Yeah. And they swim upside down, it's, it's insane. We got a couple larger NTT denoids. about five, six inches. One big pike. That pike, again, is gonna be one of those pikes where you send us off for taking home. That's it, we're not gonna take, keep take space anymore. We have the golden gouramis, golden giant gouramis. Down below we have the Asian red tails. And here, it's a bunch of little bumblebee jowl catfish. So this is not the giant jowl, this is a bumblebee catfish that they're also called a jowl. Really cool. I don't know if they get really big. They should get big because it's a tiny species of jowl. But they're not, uh, usually people think that they're Asian bumblebee catfish, so they're not. Those are more of a different type of species. We have the Congo puffers. I'll just put them together right now. They're, they used to have this whole tank for them. But just while we're doing the, the updates here, back here, they're gonna be together. These are cool. These are the golden barbs. They came from Asia, really cut. It looks like they're spray paint, right? The color shines so much, it looks like they're spray paint. And then albino, redhead, Tapa Joe's. All quarantined, eating like crazy. Up here, this would be good for somebody with a pond. We have a few of the Humphala barbs. This is actually a very pretty fish. If you look them up, they are very pretty fish. They get to decent size. And the blue Tyva Sears. So these guys are also one of those things. I want this to go to a good home. So let's do the, the whole game. Send us an offer on the Humphala barbs, the highest offer. As long as it's what we pay for it, <laughs> we're okay with that. 
smaller green puffers. I think Kevin also wanted to get them out. So if you're looking for a school of them, we can work something out. This way it makes more space because I, we do have, no joke, I think February is gonna be one of those months where we're gonna be overloaded. Down here we have some red tails, fat boys, some hybrids. So this is a red tail and a tiger shovel nose. And we also have tiger shovel nose, but they're a little bit smaller. So we decided to keep them in the case so they don't get small. We showed a lot so far. We have one more row. We're gonna do this fast for you guys because otherwise it's gonna be like a 40 minute video. I believe all the rays should be on the site. If not, it's VJ's fault. But if you see any of the rays that we want, I think either this one or that one sold. But it's already all numbered on the website for you guys. I don't know if these two are in it. I feel like he doesn't put it up because he wants to keep it, what, you know, without saying it. This is a beautiful. The albino black diamonds is just out of this world. I love how they're white with yellow spots and the yellow really shows. Down here we have a massive gunch, which I'm not in a hurry to sell it because we don't really get them that size. So if you guys are looking for a river monster, that is it. And these guys as well have two left. These are the true Puraevas. Really cool fish. So we got three gunch, two Puraevas. Right here we have a giant red tail gouramis and the festival cichlids. So it's all mixed in there. Those guys are okay, they can, they can, they can stay here, they're gonna group. In Eureka, we had a lot of them. This is what's left, really cool fish. They're not aggressive. I love how they have really red eyes, you see it? Yeah. But in here, it's a plain tank, so the colors get really plain. Once they acclimate to a tank, they have really nice dark colors. And then that is the last of the red shoulder severum. And it's a big size too, so if you guys like those types of fish, I would jump on that guy because he's the last one we have. We already went over the albinos. This bike, please take him home and put him in a, in a beautiful tank because he deserves it. Look, look how beautiful this bike is. Down here, it's gonna be a little harder to see, but it's a bunch of uh, black goats. We have Thunderline Royal, uh, Spotted. I think they should have cleaned this tank a little bit better. But I, a lot of it's scratched up from the rays, actually, the rays teeth. Francisco Doras. They've been here for a while. We want them to go to a good home. I, I know they costed us a good money because at the time we got them, they were pretty rare. I don't know if they're still rare. I don't see many people selling them, but we need to get them out. So if you guys want to send us an offer, we can do that way as well. These are Conjugus, Leopardae, and Wixie. Wixie is a very cool type of biter. Uh, we have a group of them. If you like these types of fish, I would definitely get it. They got super cool markings and uh, the, the fins on top is like a dragon. Really pretty fish. You don't see them very often. Either the Wixie and the Conjugus, both of them are really nice. All right, here we got, just came in not long ago, these Atlantic Tarpon. Now, the Atlantic Tarpon freshwater, yes, believe me, they can live in freshwater. I had one for the longest time, but Atlantic Tarpon is always one of my favorite monsters. If you have the tank space or the pond, I would go for one of them. I had one that grew up to four feet in freshwater, and I raised it from about a little bit smaller than this. And every time I got on the tank, he would come right up to me. Like they're not scared of you at all. They literally come right up, I could touch them. Super cool fish. I had to let him go when we moved, but I would definitely, when I can, I'll grow another one, especially in a monster tank. Albino arrows. These guys are about five, six inches. I love how a lot of them are still pretty yellow. I think it's just the type of breed or the quality that they have. Some of them are more white, some of them are more yellow. I like the yellow ones. And here we go, the end of it. We have these two, wait, they look different, but the same, I don't know. Those, the, these two uh, silver dollars on top. One is darker than the other. I don't think they're the same fish. They might be different fish. So that's why he's going at it. I'm gonna have to take care of him. But I like that guy, the, the, one, the one on top with the bigger fin. I like him a lot, yeah, the darker one. Then we have this school of uh, black bar silver dollars. Two of them already have red showing because of the bigger ones. Pike that we put it on the special. A group of silver arowanas. Now these are the last that we had. We had 200 of them and we grew them out. Some of them in here are like 12 inches long. Beautiful fish, no drop by. They came from Colombia. They've been here quarantine, eating shrimp, cut fish, pallets. These guys are ready to go. Oh, I hate opening this tank because look, they tried to bite your hand as soon as you open the tank. So make sure you have a lid because they will jump and put something on top of that lid. This is a school bear mundis. These are super cool. They're about four inches. They, they can turn into monster, but to get them at the size is really nice. They're, they're, they're just, I, I don't know, they're just a cool fish. They're like a perch. And they're eating pellets as well, which is pretty cool. Now, this is the fun part. Look at these little guys, and look at that. 
the same fish. It's just different color. So I'm thinking about getting the 800 out there and putting him. He's, he's a beast, bro. He's eating like crazy. The yellow goonch is definitely my favorite fish in here right now. Uh, that, those two are not for sale. This we can get more. The yellow goonch are harder to find. So I want to put him in that tank and uh, display it for you guys. Look at the eyes, bro. That is like see-through. Yeah. Imagine if we had eyes like that. And I think that's the last tank right here. We have a couple of the L14s, big size. There you go. Some Papa Plecos, some Para Plecos. All the Plecos you can see it on the website. But this is it. We are getting more of Kevin Stingrays. We're getting the last of it. That's why he set up these tanks. So I was pretty surprised. He actually worked on this pretty fast. This is all set up, ready to go. We're setting up that new rack with the full filtration. And then hopefully when we have the power, we're gonna do a whole wall, a huge quarantine station. I think that I'm very excited for that because when fish come in, we can just put it in there, treat it, medicate it, and then move it over to the tanks. But my biggest goal this year would be to gather as much fun as, uh, funds as I can to build that monster tank. So if you guys have any good ideas, I don't want nothing for free. I don't like to ask for help, but this is not just for me, this is for all of us. So if you can do something where the posters or the shirt, I think the posters would be really cool. I'll come up with some really cool designs I have a guy that does them for me. I pay him good money, and uh, I think he's gonna be happy now, dude. The Arrow Primer design, it came in great. He's really good, he's very talented, and I think it would be cool to have a bunch of posters on the wall with his design, and we can do the Amazon collection, we can do African collection, we can do Asia collection, we can come up with everything. So if any ideas you guys have, help me, put your comments down below. I'll definitely look when I can. Hopefully you found some fish that you're looking for and get it at a better price and stay tuned for more videos because we're coming down to Florida. I got a couple of things that we're gonna do down there. Uh, our camera guy is gonna come with us. Kevin's gonna come. So it'll be fun, it'll be fun. Hopefully we'll do some fun stuff down there. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate everything you do for us. And if you have any questions, just let us know. But to send your offer, just make sure you send to that number. 561-430-7944. Love you all. See you guys next time.